Hey guys and welcome to Ease Co. Brewing. Today we are going to do a review on Innis and Gun IPA. Now Innis and Gun, they're brewed in Scotland. Um, now traditionally their original beer is uh, aged in oak barrels. Now I was looking at the bottle on here and I don't believe this one is. It's just a brewed beer by them, a brewed IPA. Um, it doesn't say anywhere on here that it is uh, aged in oak barrels. So we're going to give it a shot and see what happens. So this, like I said, is brewed in Scotland. Uh, very cool looking bottle. They do a lot of detail in with their, um, their design of their labels as well as their bottles. As you can kind of see here, they've got embossing on the bottle. It says Innocent Gun. It's got... Uh, couple more little logos on there so pretty cool um, so it says brewed in small batches India pale ale innocent gun IPA intensely hopped IPA with tropical fruit aromas and a rich malty backbone handcrafted Scottish beer all right and on the back here it says every ingredient in this beer is chosen with one thing in mind Filling your mouth with spine-tingling flavor, soft Scottish water brewed with slow-kilned malted barley and Munich malt, provides a rich malty backbone, heaps of Cascade, Centennial, and Mandarina hops pack an intense fruity citrus punch to balance the flavor, leaving you thirsty for your next sip. All right, there's no IBU on this, but... Uh, the ABV is 5.6, so it's not insane. Uh, high alcohol for an IPA. So, let's see. It has a best before July 2018. It doesn't have a brew date, but that's okay. There we go. Let's pop it, take it for a spin, and see what happens. Oh, we got a little bubbly. Good thing I caught that. I caught that on the nose right there. <laughs> so I'm guessing we got a lot of carbonation with this. All right. Saved the day there. All right. So about a one finger head. I thought maybe it would be more the way that was bubbling up after I popped it. All right. It's got really good carbonation. Color wise, you know it's it's more of an amber. Amber to gold, gold to amber, whatever you want to call that. Very, very clear. Very clear. Almost too clear for an IPA. You definitely get a very strong multi flavor or uh, smell with this. And then I'm getting more more of a hint of uh, the the hop, especially the cascade hops on the back end of that but more malt to be honest with you than hops so well let's try it out very bitter very bitter um, Definitely getting um, a lot of malt up front. You do get a bit of a citrus punch, like it says, but not, not insane. I'm getting more of a malt, and then, and then that bitter finish. I mean, it, it's definitely an IPA, but it's uh, it's got more characteristics of other beers than than an IPA to be honest with you more more malty and more bitter um, like I know what IPA is you got bitterness but there's not that citrusy uh, flavor that you usually get with a with a good IPA it does have a really good mouthfeel I mean it's not terrible or anything like that but it's not uh, 
it's not an IPA that I would choose after tasting it. So, a um, little bit of lacing on the on the glass there. Not a lot of head retention. Um, I reviewed uh, one of their their marmalade IPAs, and that one was freaking awesome. You know, this I got to be honest with you, a little bit of a letdown. But you know, I mean, Innocent Gun isn't traditionally known for their IPAs, so their attempt at an IPA, I mean, it's not terrible. It's drinkable. Um, that's not bad, but I'd have to say, honestly, out of a five, I'd probably give this a two. And that's because um, it lacks a lot of the characteristics of a, a traditional IPA. Um, you know, not a lot of head retention. Uh, carbonation is good. Carbonation is good. It may be even a little bit over carbonated for an IPA, but uh, I like carbonation, so that's not a big deal. Um, yeah, I mean, it's okay. Would I buy it again? No. No, I wouldn't. But you know what? You got to try some of these beers to find out. They're not all going to be good. And you know what? To be honest with you, my tasting and review of this is totally subject to opinion. I mean, everybody's palate and what they like is different. So uh, somebody might take this and say, like, you know what? This is the best IPA I've ever tasted. To me, it's just, it's not, it's not there. And, and that's okay. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you soon. Cheers. Ah.